Hello, my name is Samina. I'm a science teacher with Let's Talk Science, and today we're going to be talking about a technique used by forensic scientists called fingerprinting. If you would like to follow along, ask a caregiver for permission and gather the following materials. For the first activity, you're going to need a blank piece of paper, a sharpened pencil, clear tape, and a pair of scissors. What do you think your fingerprints look like? Today, we're going to find out. Fingerprints are made of ridges. A ridge is a part of the skin that's lifted like a bump. The tips of our fingers and the tips of our toes have ridges. Some animals, like koalas, also have fingerprints. Fingerprints help us with our grip. Before we begin, we need to ensure our fingers are clear of any marks or debris. Once we know that, we're going to carefully cut out a piece of tape to set aside for later. We want to be careful to not get any marks on the center of the tape by holding it only by the edges. Now we're going to draw an oval and we're going to color it in with our pencil. We're going to use this oval to get our fingerprints. The oval should be large enough to cover your fingerprint, so about a few centimeters long and wide. Push down gently with a pencil when coloring and try to hold the pencil at an angle so the lines are drawn thick. Once you're done, take one of your fingers, I'm going to use my index finger, and press it against the oval. You may need to push down with a little bit of pressure. When I lift my finger, I see a layer of gray on my skin. The gray is from the graphite of the pencil. That's the part you write with. If the layer isn't very gray, you can press your finger against the oval again and even smudge it a bit. Now I'm going to take my tape and press it over my fingerprint as if it were a bandage. Then I can remove the tape and press it against a blank part of the paper and I can see my fingerprint. This method is similar to how you can stamp your fingerprint by pressing it against an ink pad. You can pause the video here to take a look at your fingerprint. You might be able to see it better if you use a magnifying lens or you zoom in with your phone camera. Fingerprints can be grouped into four categories. An arch, a loop, a whorl, and a composite. Composite fingerprints are combinations of patterns. Which categories do your fingerprints go into? You can pause the video here to decide. After you're done, we can start on the second activity, lifting our fingerprints from glass. For the second activity, you're going to need a glass cup, which we need to be very careful with, clear tape, scissors, cornstarch, a small bowl, a paintbrush or a makeup brush, you can use a magnifying lens or a phone camera, and you also need a dark piece of paper, like a piece of black construction paper. I'm using a piece of brown paper instead. Anything that will contrast with white will work. To start, I again need to make sure the finger I'm using is clear of any marks or debris. Once I'm ready, I'm gonna rub my finger on my nose or forehead. This will help us get a better fingerprint on the glass because our skin has more oil there. I'm going to carefully press my finger against part of the glass. The important thing is to make sure I don't touch this part of the glass again. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch into a bowl. Then take your brush and lightly dip it into the bowl of cornstarch. You should be able to see white powder at the top of the brush. If there's a lot of powder, tap the handle of the brush against the edge of the bowl to get rid of the excess powder. Gently brush the powder over the part of the glass where you pressed your finger. You should be able to see your fingerprint. To get the fingerprint off the glass, we'll need a piece of tape. Be careful when you're cutting your tape because again, we don't want to get your fingerprint or any other marks in the center of the piece you're cutting. Take the tape and place it over the fingerprint. Press the tape against the white powder over the fingerprint without touching the glass. Remove the tape and press it against a dark piece of paper. You should be able to see your fingerprint. You can pause the video here to see which patterns you have, if they're arches, loops, whorls, or if your fingerprint has multiple patterns, meaning it's a composite. Fingerprints are unique for everyone. No two are the same, not even for identical twins. Fingerprints are also permanent. Only an injury can change what they look like. Do you think all of your fingerprints look the same? Or how do you think your fingerprints compare to other people's? You can use the techniques we discussed today, either by lifting your fingerprints using paper or by lifting fingerprints off of glass, to get different fingerprints either from your other fingers or from other people and compare them. With your caregiver's permission, you can share your results with us on social media. 
Thanks for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you next time.